All right, I'm going to make a video here that uh, is a little shaky, but a lot of people are asking about this 1971 Corvette. So I uh, wanted to make a video of like what's it look like from get from the start to the finish of starting it up and etc. So this is it. This is the this is July 22nd, I think. Yeah, July 22nd, 2020. This is the Corvette 71 Corvette. And this is probably why it's in such nice condition is because it sits underneath blankets and I've only driven it about I might have to check but I think it's about a thousand miles in the last 17 years <laughs> you know not much um, I just I, I bought it because I was sick and tired of losing money in the stock market and so always wanted a vet so here's 71 vet we're gonna take off the the cover and uh, the blankets and start this baby up let's get the blankets over here yeah yeah get the old blankets off which is a great way of keeping a car clean because you and you don't got to wash it or nothing there it sits just just all day long so this is the uh, interior uh, the fire steamers here is just because I'm a boy scout. No, it has not ever caught on fire I just always you know be prepared It's in great condition. This is original door jams Or whatever you call these things. It's got these extra Things that they put over it because I know there's wear underneath there. I know you can buy these and put it on there um, That's probably new mats It might be new carpet because it's just in too good a shape. But I know and I can tell that that's an original dash. Um, everything's original. Uh, the, the seats may have been recovered, but because there's no tears or nothing in it. But, um, it's in great shape. Can't see where the dam back there in it. Uh, that's that's where the... Behind the glasses is where the... Behind the seats, which is where... <laughs> there, yeah, there's no storage. Thing. what's going on here there we go all right so there's this is the car these are the Goodyear tires with excellent tread still on them like literally brand new these tires have, are actually well they've been on it since I've had it I've had it for 17 years they show no I mean they're in perfect shape of course they just sit in the garage um, there is one small crack the only one I have, I have found right here is if a stress fat fracture. I can't tell. I don't think it goes any further than right there, one little piece. About two inches long, right there. Right underneath the paint, barely. But everything else looks like it's full original. Uh, this is, with T-tops, it's not a convertible. Back window comes out. One of the, I think it's the only year that they, you, you can take out the back window. And engine-wise, oh, I gotta pop the hood. Pop the hood there. Yeah, Jesus, I'm already at four minutes. I better hurry. There's your engine. It's just in great shape. I'm gonna check to make sure it's. I've told people it's all original serial numbers. I'm gonna double check that, but. I'm pretty sure that it is, but I'm going to double check. Anyway, that's the engine. And we'll close this up. We'll get inside this baby. It's been sitting for the last... Uh, I think the last time I started it up was three days ago. So... But it, it can sit for two weeks and start right up. No problem. So we'll get this baby going. This is a da dash in here. It's a good looking dash. This is a, I think it's a cassette. Yeah, it's a cassette. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not original. I know it's not because it's got a little digital volume control on it. But uh, somebody did a great job putting a little Chevy Corvette um, cassette player in there. I've never tried it. I know it, radio works, but man, I'm listening to the exhaust of this baby. There's the tack and the speedometer. It's got 24 
uh, no, 25,516 miles on it. All right, so this is how easy it starts up. Well, let's start this baby. I'm going to back it out, and then I'll get some more photos for you. All right, clutch has to be all the way in, like really pushed down because there's a switch underneath there to make sure. So whatever, if you ever try to turn the key and it doesn't start, it's because that switch has to be connected down at the bottom. Make sure you're in neutral just to make sure. Almost started on the first one. There's your oil pressure right off the bat. Almost, uh, well, right at 70. Idles down at around, I think, 35 PSI. And I've had this for 17 years, no problems with engine. Man, I mean nothing. This brake light comes on automatically, uh, and then you push it. It's to remind you that uh, you got to put on your seat belts. That's how fancy they got in 1971. It automatically comes on when you first start the car, then it it resets right after you uh, turn off the key. Anyway, uh, let's back this baby out. You got to pull up on this little lever right here to put it in reverse. say that. Let's get this baby in neutral. There it is. Yeah, I don't want to have it move forward and bust through the wall. Okay. Hey, it's a cloudy day, so this will actually do good for the photographs so I'm gonna let this roll forward to the uh, just for info this is the emergency brake of which I have never gone up underneath the car to see why it doesn't it's I don't think it's hooked up to be all honest it feels like it's got the tension but not like enough anyway all the lighting works on it. I put this thing in neutral before I forget. All right, now walk around the car with this thing idling. Idles at 1500 until it warms up. Yeah. And then it'll go down to I think about 600 or so, about 900. All right, and I'll do a walk around real quick. Here's this is another picture of the engine. Here's the small wear on the right underneath the door jam right there and right there. Everything else, man, is in excellent shape. I mean, it's excellent. There's where the battery sits, and there's a cover that goes right over it. This is the cover that goes over it, locks in. No, it doesn't lock in the place. That's right, it's got the push button. Anyway, good clean little car for 50 years old. In amazing shape. T tops come off, but I'm not gonna take them off in a second. Here's another. Well, I'll do with a walk around. Great paint job on it. A super nice paint job. And there's your engine. Original distributor with actual points in there. Not electronic. I didn't go to electronic till like. I think 72, the next year after this, they went to LA, I think. Radiator is at a slant, just for y'all that don't know, but to really get the thing low to the ground. Uh, great idea, but the problem is that in July and August, 
um, they have a tendency to get pretty hot and almost overheat, especially the 454. This is a 350, so it holds up pretty well, but um, I've never had a problem with uh, this engine. It's got 24,000 miles, uh, 25,000 miles on it. I mean, excellent shape. Anyway, that's the car. And that's about 10 and a half minutes. That's enough. Who wants to watch more than that? <laughs>